welcome back to another episode. Today we have Pascal Bachman. So welcome to the show, man. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Nice to be here. Of course. Grateful to have you on. Um, so if you can, just start us off with a little bit more about you and what you do. Sure. There's a lot to say. I try to keep it short. Uh, right now, my mission is to empower entrepreneurs and doers, guide them to become healthy and successful leaders in business and life. Uh, the reason why I do that, I just see urgency. I just see urgency. People, today's society is, most people are followers. So everybody out there who listen today, if you're an entrepreneur, know and realize how important that is because people need leaders. The society lead, need leaders. That's one of my books I'm writing right now with the title Irresponsible Society. And I think we as an entre entrepreneurs, we deliver so much value to in, in different areas that the society need. And, and we often tend to forget how important it is to, to be an entrepreneur with, with everything you have. And that, that's something that started for me very early when I started to work <laughs> after two, two weeks being an employee. I knew this is not what I will do for the rest of my life. And I decided to change that situation within the next two years and became an entrepreneur because I believe you don't become an entrepreneur. You are an entrepreneur and the time will come when you figure that out. And, and once you realize that you can just not do anything about it, you just have to do it and found a way and you will because you have it in your blood. So that's what happened with me. So when I look back, the last 27, almost 30 years, I started seven companies. I had a franchise with 13 branches. I, I coached, oh gosh, it's more than 20,000 people till now, generated a lot of money, worked in different industries and just kind of tried to find my way and, and express myself, who I am in a way that I can contribute to my vision and uh, just be your mission every day and, and do what I love and love what you do. And that's pretty much what I, what I did the last 27 years at least. Uh, and, and today it's all about making or doing my part, the things that I believe I got and where I am good to contribute to the world uh, in a way that I want to see the world with, with a responsible society, with an understanding society, and just let people know it starts with you. It is never anybody else but us. And, and that's my passion, and that's what I'm fighting for. Got it, man. I love that. Um, so let's, uh, let's go back, not all the way to the beginning, but like, I, I kind of like to start earlier on and then to where you are now. Um, so I, I was reading in your bio, um, and like you kind of said, like you've started multiple companies. Um, I know that you, um, had a fighting career. Um, and so a lot of stuff happened. So first off, when you, let's go like high school, um, when you were in high school, did you, see yourself doing like anything you're doing now or was it something completely different it was different i had actually no no idea what i want to do i was just a rebel uh, i i was not a good i was not good at st in the school at all at the things that they uh, wanted me to do because i just i I'm just not fine with doing things where I don't see value for myself or for someone else. And, and I started to, to express that when I was young, when I was like 13, 14, 15, I had not the easiest childhood back then. That was my belief. Um, just went through different stuff, like so many thousand people or millions of people as well. Uh, no parents. I grew up in a children's home and, and uh, yeah, I made my way and, and tried to try to found myself in different areas and, 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 and struggle with different things. But I hadn't 
really something that I felt like this is what I will do when I am when I am able to. The only thing that that came early, maybe when I was 14, 15, 16, I had the feeling that I like fighting, but that was not to start a career. It was just, it was more that this is how I express myself. I, I weren't able to talk. I weren't able to communicate. I had no mentors and people that I look up to who teach me to do those things. So when I wanted something or if I faced trouble, which was pretty often the case, I just fight it for it physically and got what I want and I took what I needed and, and all that stuff. So down the road, I learned how to control that. But back then, that's something that I felt like that's actually fun. If I could, if I could start earning money with that, that would be an option for me because I just like doing it. I didn't understand all the patterns and the psychological background of of these reactions, uh, but yeah, to answer the, your question, I was not clear. I had some ideas based on my behavior that I back then at that time believed this is right and this could be something that I earn money with. Got it, okay. And then, um, okay, so then from there, I know, so you had a $15 million bankruptcy and a failed marriage and i'm just looking at your bio right now and like you it says you hit rock bottom multiple times so let's let's go through those and then we'll get to the to the successes <laughs> um, <laughs> so, but what happened with that bankruptcy that's pretty wild yeah you know i i was always a risk taker i had an idea and i just made it happen somehow and back then i remember i had an I actually came to the US and I saw Groupon. Uh, do you know that company? Groupon? Yeah, 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 Groupon, yeah. Yeah, they grow so big, so fast, so big. I was here for vacation and, and business meetings. I saw this, the idea. And uh, so my girlfriend, she had a spa back then and they sold like tickets, I believe in 24 hours for 100 and some thousand dollars back then. That was the beginning. And I thought, man, this, that's crazy. That, that model works in Switzerland. So I started to do my research and said, okay, how many computers per head in Switzerland? How's the potential? So I kind of did the market research and found out, is, would, be, would that be something that works in Switzerland? And uh, the answer to that question was, was yes, it would. And then... I started doing a business plan and I planned how to do that. And I wanted money back then. I believe it was half a million dollars. So I contacted the right people. And then I had that one guy who, who told me, Mr. Bowman, we need to sit on the table. You cannot create a one-man... I'm mixing up two different things here right now. Sorry. That no, was... Yeah, I need to separate those. That was... Uh, the, one, the one thing where I realized that speed is everything in business because what I did with that specific story, I made the business plan, put it in my desk and let it sit for six months. After six months, I thought now it's the time because I had time, made a presentation to six of my friends uh, in a center that I built in the health industry and told these guys, this is happening in the US. This is what I prepared. This is the business plan. It's going to work 100%. I'm sure it's going to work. I need the right people who are ready to invest. All of them invested. We started to build the company. We, we ride a group of clone uh, with, in, in India. So we set up the whole model, make sales contract. We hire people. We sent them out. But we were too late. I was sleeping a half a year because in that half a year, someone else prepared the same thing. They were two months faster on the market than we did and were able because of that two months to partner with one of the biggest companies in Switzerland if it comes to publications. And they made in, 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 uh, in year five after the business start, they made 22 million per year. Wow. Per year. And we needed to close 
because this guy went to all the clients that we, we, we sign up for, we built and told them, Hey guys, uh, no, you guys have a contract, but if you switch to us, this is what we can offer you. And they was much stronger because of that partnership. So we need to close that. And, and, uh, so they still, they still on the market, they still make their money, but this is where I really, really realized speed is everything. I slept it away. So, but now to the other story, the bankruptcy, uh, that was something I also went to the US and I back then uh, met someone at the convention and they were very good doctors in different areas and they were talking about the machine that burns fat without you doing the exercise. And I come from, I mean, as a professional sport athlete, I knew or I, I thought what they talking that's not possible. You cannot burn that much fat without doing anything. That's all a joke. I know all these devices. I researched them. The only way to burn calories and, and create, uh, increase muscle mass and burn fat is you need to move your body. Simple. That's what I do. And they were talking about stuff like you can burn up to three, 4,000 calories within an hour and you just lay down and do nothing. And I had a problem when I went back to Switzerland and I read about all that stuff that they were talking about, these good doctors. And I thought like, something is wrong. Maybe they are not as good as I think they are. That's option one. Or that whole thing is true and I don't understand it. So I went back to the US. And by the way, one of the doctors were, were nominated to be a personal doctor for president obama at that at that time so they they were really good doctors so i went back to talk to them and we had discussions and then i decided to go to california uh, it was uh, in california that the company built who built all that stuff were in california i met the founder i went through different schools to understand the whole concept behind it until I realized, hey, it works. I tried it out on myself. I had some athletes that I coached. They tried it out. It works. And I understood the whole concept. So I thought, I'm going to do a business plan. I want the exclusive rights for Europe. And uh, I got it. We made different contracts. Uh, I needed to buy a lot of these machines. And they were very expensive. So we're talking about they sell these devices for $50,000 each. So I bought that stuff and then I uh, were in the communication with them and, and we prepared the sales and all that stuff. Anyway, I needed money. So I went to different investors. They told me, hey, we need to talk because you cannot do a one-man show with that device if that is true. You need to create a franchise. And so long story short, we met, uh, we did different contracts. The goal was 150 branches in Europe. We, I invested a lot. We generated a lot of money at this time. And I had some investors. Uh, so we, need, we needed uh, almost $100 million, $100 million. And everything was prepared. A lot of my money were in that I earned in different other businesses and, and just a lot of investment in different areas came together. But anyway, the day we wanted to sign the final contract for the $100 million with that investors who we knew if he say yes, it definitely is a yes because he financed many other projects from the company that I had comp co uh, contact from. The day before I went to Germany to sign that contract, and we meet several times before, the day we, I wanted to put my feet in the car, drive to Germany to sign the contract, I got the email from that gentleman's wife, and the email said, Dear Mr. Bachmann, I need to tell you, that my husband, they died yesterday evening. Oh my God. And I was like, oh my God. 
I was I was confused. I mean, what what should I do at that point? Be sad and feel sorry for the guy, or worry about everything that I will lose? Yeah, and that was that was a, a roller coaster. So I needed to find myself. That was I realized uh, that I put all the risks my real estate, my land, different contracts, my personal reliability for the contracts that we had because I knew everything going to work out fine. And I needed to do some decisions that I back then did today. I wouldn't do it that way, but my hands were tied and I knew I will go bankrupt and lose everything at this time, which I did. And then it was personal bankruptcy. It was business bankruptcy. I lost all the money, all the real estate because of a, of a different story that happened uh, at almost the same time. All my retirement money, everything was completely gone within, I believe, 60 days. Wow. And, yeah, that was, uh, I guess, the rock bottom that I'm talking about there. So I was, I was in a place where, I really wish nobody to be. And still, if I look back, that's probably the best thing that ever happened to me. So yeah, but, why, why do you say it was the best thing that ever happened to you? Because it showed me who I am. I Not just did I get up, I learned so extremely a lot with the whole process with all the decisions that I did before that happened and during that phase and after that phase, I learned how, how I re re react in stress situations. I realized how fast I can be to make decisions to rebuild. I realized how important it is to have a life vision that you know who you are. I realized that it is not about the things that happen to me if you look at the things and realize they happen for you. Because if you know who you are and you know where you get up, where you're going and why you get up every single morning, you realize you do not get up for the things and the situations or these situations in life. If you have a vision, that vision will show up once you remember and it becomes your leading star doesn't matter in what situation you are in life. You have the vision, you get up, you fight, you create your mission and you go and go and go again because that's the reason and the purpose why you are on this planet. So all that stuff became so important for me because I realized it at that moment or during that process. And of course, this is not what you feel uh, when stuff happens, the first thing is like, okay, what do I do now? And, and, and there's no way out. It's, it's first, it's emotions, then it's anger, then it's self-doubt. Like all these stages come and, and you need to go through that, but, but it is possible. And, and I was able to do that. And I learned, like I said, I learned a lot about myself. Got it. No, that makes a lot of sense. So I'm curious now like uh because i know like you coach and consult people on like health wealth like let's uh, like currently so you had to rebuild so i don't are you back to where you were uh when that bankruptcy happened or are you still building back currently i'm still building back uh but i know for 100 percent that I will probably be there again by the end of next year and within the next five years, 2025, 2026, uh, my goal is to 10x because that's all the knowledge that I gain and, and, and all the connections that I created and all the preparation that I did for the new businesses in different areas. And, and there's so, so much knowledge in an area that that I just know, I don't hope, 
I don't think I just know how we're going to turn out based on what I experienced about myself, about the market. And, and that makes me happy to, to uh, not just go on, but to, to give that knowledge to as many people as I can. Got it. That makes sense. What's your like um, workout or like health schedule, I guess, or regimen? Like what, what do you currently do? Right now, what I do is I have a morning ritual and I call it MMR, uh, my morning rituals. And what I do every, every morning, usually before I have work between six and eight is meditate, appreciate, move and learn. So I take my time for myself, I meditate on different things. Then I do my appreciation, which I'm just thankful for what I have, for my health, for, for my business, for my relationships, for everything I have. Then I move. Sometimes it's just a walk. Depends to the weather. Sometimes I go to the gym. I do stuff at home uh, and then learn. Often I combine it. If I just walk, I listen to an audio book. Or I study different things. I listen to Jim Quick do some brain stuff. I I just learn and and I have to decide to grow and learn from different people around me, from people who are where I want to be. I I just want to suck in all that knowledge and 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 apply it somehow in my life. So that's what I do in the morning: meditate, appreciate, move, and learn. But right now, I have different phases. Right now, uh, I am in week number five of fasting. So for the last five weeks, I just drink water and sometimes tea. I don't take any supplements, nothing. So I'm probably going to go up to 50, five, zero days this time. I just have a feeling and then switch to juicing. So it's a lot of things like in the health area, it's all about nutrition, exercise, wellness, and all that stuff. But, but health-wise, I connect it to, to mind, which is my purpose. What is my identity? What is my vision? What is my mission? And when I talk about vision, it's not just my life vision. We have different areas in life, right? We can have a vision for any of the areas. What are my targets? What, what is my purpose in relationship? What do I want to achieve? What do I want to achieve financially and so on so wait, to have that healthy mindset and stuff like that. So, so it's a lot, but this is mainly what I do every morning. Don't turn on the phone, do my MMR, uh, meditate, appreciate, move and learn. And in the evening, same thing. I, I turn off the phone as soon as I can. I, for example, on my, on my phone, I don't have any emails. I work when I'm at the office and if someone need to reach me, they need to call me. Uh, so these are things that I do health wise to protect me from being a reactive person. I want to be proactive and don't have a life of reacting. And, and that's one of my responsibilities. I love that. Um, so I have two more questions. So first one, I, I just have to address this. So I also do fasting, I, I, but not at the level you do. I'm curious to learn more about that. So I, I do typically like a 18, 20 hour fast. Um, so right now I'm on like, once it hits in two minutes, I'll be at 20 hours um, of a fast. So I, I normally eat in like a four to six hour window and then an 18, 20 hour fast. Um, so, but you're, you, you said you're going to go five, zero, 50 days without any food at all just water and tea yes absolutely uh, and How i don't do recommend do that that's crazy In a good <laughs> I, one. I wish i could do that that's amazing yeah yeah i don't re recommend people to do that just just uh, and and my goal is not to lose weight uh last time i did 42 days this time i just have a feeling it's 50 i didn't plan to fast this time it was just a feeling i had i i got up and i feel like uh, it, I need to fast. Now is the time. So I, I wasn't hungry from day one on and I started to journal and just fast. And, and today, I mean, week five, I get, I work, do my workouts. I feel strong. I'm not uh, giddy, uh, dizzy. I, I can focus. I don't need a lot of sleep. So I, I don't feel 
any difference as if I would eat right now. And as long as I feel like this, there's no, there's nobody can, that can change my mind. Right. So I, I don't step on the scale uh, because losing weight and also fat, not, not just muscle, it's just a positive side effect. But for me, it's more about to connect with the source, to be in the now, to create my future. I believe we all create our own future. We make our vision become our reality. It's us, it's nobody else. And we are responsible for everything that we face today because somehow consciously or subconsciously, it was a decision in the past that we did. And, and if I fast that way, I, I'm just able to connect on a different level because my body is clean. All the parasites die. They're not part of me anymore. Uh, I'm completely clean. The body don't need to digest anything. So all that energy, I have that for something else. Uh, and, and like I said, I have different ideas, I have different thoughts. I can connect. I can control my life not control, maybe that's the wrong word, but I can feel or make a difference what decisions are coming from me as a human being, ego-based most of the time for all the humans. It's our personality who have ideas and somehow we think it's us. But the true ideas that I want to fulfill and bring out in the world are given inspirations these inspirations are given by whoever you believe it is for you. For me, it's God, it's the universe, which is God. And I get those ideas when I am in spirit, inspired, in spirit. So I'm just able to make the difference. This is given and I am the tool to make those ideas or bring those ideas alive through my gifts that I got and developed uh, into my concepts. And, and that's fun for me. I love to do that. And uh, yeah, so losing weight is a side effect. But again, if people want to do that, they need to know how to prepare themselves to really, how do I start? Why do I do it? What are possible side effects? What could happen? How do I start the food intake again? And, and all that stuff. So there's a whole concept behind it that people should do and that I did for many years. Uh, but as I said, not this time. I know my body good enough and, and just follow my feelings. And, and this is what I want, what it was. And, and I follow it till today and feel great. So how do you, how do you prepare for it? Like, or you just woke up. So you felt you just woke up that morning, but before, like you didn't have like a huge meal before anything, everything was just normal. No, I do. I did a keto. You, you would, you are on intermittent fasting, which I, yeah. <clears throat> think it's one of the three best diets on this planet because it's not produced by human beings it's a evolution based uh, evolution based thing so intermittent fasting i believe that's that's a great uh, thing i personally one of the other uh, one of the three is also ketogenic diet yeah as well evolution based so i was on keto and i ate a lot of fat 70 80% of my calorie intake and calories, I took about three, three and a half thousand calories per day, came from fat, uh, protein, and, 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 and 20%, 15 to 20% protein, and uh, less than 5%. Personally, I always stay under 30 grams of carbs when I'm on keto. So I was eating pretty intense. I worked out. I had a lot going on, but it was just different that morning. Uh, yeah, it just came to me. I, I didn't think about it. Actually, oh. I just came back from Switzerland. It was here over the weekend, tuned back in. And on Monday, I felt like, okay, let's follow the voice. I love that, man. Um, dude, you are a fascinating guy. I like you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you. Likewise. So I, um, this is what I want to do, because I know we could talk for, for hours. I, I kind of, I want to leave the floor to you and like, 
if there's anything we didn't cover that you'd like to cover, please do. But then also, I just want people to be able to connect with you. So like, let people know website, um, social media, or like, where can people find you as well? Okay. Uh, the, hmm, how do I go from here now? Right now, what I believe, like all that health stuff helps me a lot. And, and the book series that I am writing, it's, it's a trilogy. The first book calls Irresponsible Society, Wake Up. It's everybody of us. It was never Obama, Trump, or Biden. It is us. It was never the pandemic. It is us. It's never my wife or husband. It is me. It is always me. I am the source of everything and this is where i should start working on and and that's why i created that concept i call it the core four which it's all about health mind harmony and wealth and what i do right now uh, and 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 i absolutely love to talk about that because that's the aha moment when i went through the last 20 25 years of my life where i realized this is what always helped me and 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 so i created that concept and and made my research with all the successful healthy entrepreneurs out there what do they do different and i realized they all implement the core four it's all about health mind harmony and wealth and what i mean by health is and that's the concept where i where i decided to work with 20 entrepreneurs every three months it's a three months program and guide them through the core four which have uh, different stages but mainly it is about first getting healthy under health it's your body how do you treat it nutrition exercise and the all over wellness these three parts now how do you do that that that's part of the program and then the second pillar is mind the whole mindset part this is about your purpose what is your purpose not just in life in everything that you do in life so we talk about your identity who are you not the job description who are you on the deepest level what is your vision and what is your mission so that also is health because it includes your values and i had a practice for asian therapies more than 90 percent listeners out there 90 percent of all the people that came into my practice with physical or mental problems illnesses strokes heart diseases diabetes all that stuff, more than 90% were self-inflected civilization illnesses that people created by living the lifestyle they choose to live. And that was boom, mind-blowing. That was shocking. And, and this is the, the part where I realized that stroke, that heart disease, that problem that they came with were the result not just of eating too much they eat too much because they were living in a toxic relationship for the last 20 years they had diabetes because of that or they had a stroke because they were working 30 years for a boss that they didn't like one day during that 30 years but they did it anyway and these are the stuff because when you do that you live every single day of your life against your personal own values and this is what creates the disease this is what makes people sick so it's all about health health and then mind which is purpose ideation mission then the third pillar is harmony harmony is all about love it's the relationship with your partners with your clients with your creation with yourself you need to have fun in life so and create that balance. So it's harmony, love, relationship, fun, and balance. And the third uh, pillar is wealth. Now, how do you create wealth? If we talk about business, the question is, can you imagine if you have the healthy body that you create the vehicle that you need to 
that the vehicle that is able to fulfill the vision, all the goals that you have, you need to have that body. If you have that body with the healthy mindset, because you have a clear vision, a mission, and you know who you are, you know your purpose. And if you combine that with having fun, you love what you do, you do what you love, you clear on your relationship, you have fun, you have that balance. Could it be that if you have all that stuff that you generate wealth because that healthy you will be successful in business because you will have a different impact in business. The different impact you're going to have in business creates success and that success creates the financial freedom that you believe is what you want. Actually, it's something wrong. It's something else. It's fulfillment. We all go for fulfillment. We want to be happy, healthy, and fulfilled. And we believe that the financial freedom uh, can buy those things. But it starts with these four pillars, health, mind, harmony, and wealth. And the three months program is the program where I lead people through step-by-step, step, a lot of homework. It's all about you and getting yourself ready to become the person who is able to achieve any goal in life, in relationships, in business, in, in anything. And, and that's what I'm doing. And, and uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I absolutely love to do. I'm passionate about that. And I just love to talk about that, uh, about those things as you hopefully uh, realize. And, and this is, uh, this is my thing. So if, if you have any questions about that, I know you asked me for the website and all that stuff uh, or where to find me, uh, all those information or to connect with me, the easiest way is just to go to pascalbachman.com, uh, my name.com and all the social media links and all the stuff is on my website and we can connect in any way. Uh, if it fits, it fits. If not, it doesn't. But there's a lot of value and I want to contribute and give, give my learnings to the world uh, in all the areas and not just in one thing. I love that, man. Thank you again uh, for coming on the show. I personally learned a lot. So thanks for coming on, man. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me.